guys, welcome to the channel Market Uncharted. In today's video, we are going to talk about a very cool opportunity in the emerging markets. I'm talking about Brazil stock markets. Uh, so the onset of a trend, Brazilian stocks significantly outperform other emerging markets and developed economies despite a challenging year. A geopolitically neutral net exporter of commodities with a historically undervalued equity market. As you can see here, since uh, June 2022, very difficult for um, the Brazilian stock exchange, but since then, slightly recovery. Again, the idea is talking about the commodity super cycle, the next eight years that we can see an opportunity and as a net export, exporter, uh, Brazil can be very nice placed for this um, commodity super cycle. Here I bring Brazilian equities versus commodity produces. As you can see, Brazil not yet moved in relationship to this ratio, maybe a double bottom with the first bottom being made between 2001 and 2002 and now potentially between 2022 and 2023, a bottom in the Brazilian equities and a move higher on this ratio. Again, thank you so much for Tutavi Costa and Crescat Capital for their amazing uh, charts. Here, Brazilian stocks versus the rest of the world. As you can see, in terms of performance, very good uh, for Brazil, but still very undervalued, continues to have a very good opportunity. Top four Brazilian banks, the median price to book, uh, usually represent a, a bottom when reaches to this level and a bull market follows on the Brazilian equities. We'll see again very undervalued in comparison especially to Canadian, uh, American and European banks. So it might be a bottom here for the Brazilian banks as well. Gerdau, one of the best producers of steel in the world, uh, almost breaking out of a very downtrend since 2005-2009. Uh, it could uh, get very ugly in terms of uh, inflation and we should be on these ones. And again, Gerdau continues to be historically undervalued. 24% free cash flow yield, 30% dividend payout. Absolutely amazing undervalued company. In here again, enterprise value to sales ratio on very, very low and depressed levels. I, I bring a few more ideas here about Brazilian stocks. Please again, do your own due diligence, but I really love Vale with a 4% dividend yield. Ambev as well, so Ambev through its subsidiaries produces, distributes and sells beer, draft beer, carbonated soft drinks, etc. Very high yield on Ambev as well. And usually, as I say many times, if you are not comfortable on expose yourself to just a few companies, the ETF, we have iShares MSCI Brazil ETF with 12% of current dividend yield. And here you can see the top 10 uh, holdings of this ETF. Very nice companies with good dividend yields. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Never forget knowledge is not power. Knowledge is potential power. Execution is everything. And just like the markets, we will not rest. Please.